The path of life has been anything but easy for Rochester's Pat O'Connor. In fact, that path at times has been troubled. But back in the late 60s and into the 70s, O'Connor captured the hearts of local boxing fans with his talents. I got a chance to sit down with Pat and talk about his glory years. Pat O'Connor doesn't spend all that much time in the gym anymore. But in the late 60s and into the mid-70s, O'Connor was Rochester's fight machine. It was the only thing he was raised to do, battle in the ring. I was not a good football player. I couldn't play hockey. My brother was a much better athlete than I was. And, uh, but I could do one thing very well. That's what I told Joe Mayer. I said, Joe, I'm not a football player. <laughs> I'm a fighter. and I know how to fight. I don't know how to play football, Joe. <laughs> O'Connor's pro career lasted 10 years, from 1968 to 1978. In that time, Pat compiled a record of 40 wins and just six defeats. At one time, he won 32 straight bouts, and he was ranked as high as third in the light heavyweight division. I didn't think I was that good of a fighter. I, again, I won the National Gold Glove Tournament, which was a big deal. And I didn't think I was that good either. It's, I sit back and, and think about it and think somebody did me some favors some, along the line someplace because I never thought I was... I beat fighters I didn't think I should have beat. $5,000 a fight. That's what O'Connor earned during the height of his career. And looking back, the 51-year-old felt the ring was his office. An organized fight... You don't have much time to enjoy yourself. There's, you just got to take care of business and, uh, and get it done. And what are your plans Every successful well, fighter has good sure people I behind him. It was no different for O'Connor. Me, Ben Sternberg, Bruno Lisi, Gene Fezenmeyer, my father, and uh, a, a lot of friends that were very helpful and uh, supported me. And as I said, I was doing real well, and they got behind me and helped me. They, they, uh, they didn't make any mistakes. For They didn't make any mistakes at all. I, if there were mistakes make, made, I made them. He was never afraid in the ring. And to this day, you can still sense the fighter deep down in Pat O'Connor. I never fought anybody, Pat, that I thought could beat me. And of the 46 fights I had, I never got in the ring with anyone. I, I've been beaten, but I didn't. before the fight, I didn't think I could, th that they could beat me or I wouldn't have fought them. This is amazing. During his amateur and pro career, he won nearly 200 fights with only 11 defeats. And here's the disappointing thing. This guy is not in the Rochester Hall of Fame. Sure, mm. he might have done some things questionable outside the ring, but that shouldn't cost a guy from being in the Sports Hall of Fame. And if Bernie Lusk were alive today, along with Ben Sternberg, Pat O'Connor would be in the Rochester Hall of Fame. I think Great people story. should think very, very deeply mm. about getting this guy in. He should be recognized because... He was really something else back in the 60s and 70s, and he's a good guy. And you did a good job recognizing him. Good yes. story.